Now let's log into Bluemix. Enter your credentials. Go to catalog. Select the service mobile. You will find the mobile application content manager. Select the service. Specify a name for your service and then create the service. Once the service is created, you can find the created service in dashboard. When you click on the created service, you will find that there are two URLs specified. This is the URL. By using this, you can enter with your manager credential and password. There is another URL specified. This is for your Android application or any mobile application to connect to Mecham using the app ID and password. Now, I have entered with my manager credentials. You can find that it has some of the libraries. I am going to the samples example library. This is a library which has a collection of books. So you can find that in this library, it has a content template called books. You can enter with your author credential. So to specify an author for the library, you can go to manage users and you can specify the author IBM ID and his role. So when an author enters to make them, He needs to create a project. Once the project is created, he has to create a content of content type book. I am creating a book by title Famous Five. specifying a publish date and then I'm uploading a picture And then the author submits the content for approval. Once the content is submitted for reviewal, a manager logs in and once he logs in, he can go to his approvals page and then he can review the content which has been submitted for review. He can either approve or reject the content. The manager approves the content. Once the content is approved, he can publish the project so that the book will be available in the bookstore.
Now you can see that the book has been published and it is available in the bookstore. Now let's see how to connect by using a mobile app to the bookstore application. So this is an emulator, Android emulator. You need to specify the VP, the virtual portal ID in the tenant. And then you need to specify the app ID and password. When you log in to the application, you can find the books. You can here you can find that the book which I have added in the store is getting displayed in the Android app.